Introducing Woodco's Premium Domestic Wood Pellet Boiler, the Prestige. Available in both internal and external models with outputs of 25 kilowatts to 40 kilowatts. The Prestige Boiler is fitted with our proprietary iGen Smart Controller, making it our easiest ever to install, commission and service. The video demonstrates the installation of the 25 kilowatt internal model. But the same principle applies to all internal and external models. The controller and other key components are exactly the same on all our domestic models. Unique features on the Prestige include one single exhaust fan, cylindrical vertical burner pot with air holes strategically placed for secondary burn and gasification. Unique burner cleaning with an actuator plate. Easily accessible control board enclosure with path test quality control label. A new energy efficient Wilo variable speed pump. Flow and return connection pipes that can exit through a knockout in the base of the unit. A vacuum regulator which ensures that negative pressure is contained in the combustion chamber. Heat resistant and sleeved wine and components joined by push on connectors. An extra generous ash pan to gather ash from the heat exchanger pipes and the combustion area. All prestige boilers are also fitted with Wi Fi enabled remote access. Lambda sensor and controller to ensure even greater efficiency and quality combustion. Pressure release valve and plumbed water pressure sensor, which alarms if water pressure is less than one quarter bar or exceeds two and three quarter bar pressure. The Prestige is designed to use either water or thermal oil as a heat transfer medium. Thermal oil can achieve temperatures up to 160 degrees. Uniquely, the Prestige boiler is also designed to operate Woodco's KW CoGen Micro CHP unit, which can deliver electrical outputs of 2.5 kW to 3.5 kW. The Prestige boiler has been tested in the USA and is UL and CSA compliant for installation in North America as well as in Europe. The installation of the boiler, making the electrical connections, checking its operations and maintenance are all tasks which should be carried out by qualified and authorised personnel. It is important that the installations manual be read in conjunction with this video, so you can see that the Prestige is one of the best designed biomass boilers on the European markets today. Industrial leading components are used throughout. Your Prestige boiler is supplied on a single pallet and all of the packaging is 100% recyclable. Check the unpacking checklist in the manual to ensure you have all the required components, such as the user manual pack and the cleaning tool, for example. All Prestige boilers are designed to fit through a standard door width. However, they do need careful handling. The Prestige boiler weighs almost 200 kilograms, so you will need handling equipment. For internal boilers, it is likely that there will already be non-combustible concrete or tile base in the plant room where the unit is to be installed. For external boilers, it may be necessary to install a base. The base needs to be 50mm high and should project a minimum of 100mm beyond the side of the boiler and 600mm to the rear and front of slim boilers. For the prestige boiler, the installer must leave enough space to allow the user and service engineer to access the boiler routinely, leaving at least 900mm at the front of the boiler and 450mm at either side. Each boiler is identified by a unique serial number that is located to the left of the front door. On opening the front door of the boiler, you will notice a glass door that can only be opened by removing the star knobs. These should only be opened when the boiler is in the off position. You will see the cylindrical burner pot, the generous ash pan which is located at the bottom of the combustion chamber, and a pan for collecting the debris after cleaning the heat exchanger. Here you can see the temperature probe that measures the exhaust fan temperatures as it exits the boiler. Here is the auger motor that drives the auger flight. Louvres or vents on the rear of the boiler allow combustion air to access the unit. Relays are factory fitted to enable an external auger to be used. Relays also allow the property's existing time clock to be used. A safety protective grill 
is on top of the integral hopper. The hopper also contains a low-level pressure pad sensor, which gauges the weight of pellets remaining in the hopper and triggers a reminder to fill your boiler with fuel once no pellet fuel weight is bearing on the pad. There is also an optional additional fuel storage silo with automatic feed or cyclomatic pellet suction feed or auger system if for larger fuel storage silos. The IGN Smart Controller is standard on all Prestige boilers. With its easy to use touchscreen display, the IGN controller uses Fuzzy Logic PID control, meaning it modulates seamlessly within the range of 100% to 30% of the boiler output. Commissioning process is therefore greatly simplified. All boilers are pin code protected only at the installer and manufacturer levels to access service parameters. IGN control modules can also be cited in the property meaning the homeowner can control the boiler from within the house. This will show the operating status of the boiler, fuel level and control the heating circuits within the property. Within the hopper you will find a low level pressure pad sensor and the auger flight. On opening the lid of the unit you will find the boiler cleaning motor and the automatic air vent. A certified electrician should carry out the electrical connections. The Prestige boiler must be supplied with a 230 volt, 50 hertz electrical connection via a two pole isolation switch rated for over voltage category 3. It must be protected with a 6 amp circuit breaker. The unit will also have a 30 milliamp RCD installed into the main supply. Room thermostat should be supplied controlled by extra low safety voltage. A four cord cable needs to be connected to the boiler. Black is permanent live. Brown is time clock or controlled live, blue or grey is neutral, and green and yellow is earth. The appliance must be connected to an electrical system which is equipped with an earth conductor complying with CIE 64-8. The flow and return connections are on the right hand side of the boiler. The boiler can be plumbed into either an open vented or sealed pressurised system. The maximum static head on an open vented system is 27.44 meters. If on a sealed system, the expansion vessel must be installed as per the manufacturer's instructions and based on the water capacity in the boiler and the entire heating system. Failure to size the expansion vessel correctly may cause the boiler to leak over time and invalidate your warranty. A minimum 18 litre vessel is recommended plus additional expansion for the heating and domestic hot water. The boiler is fitted with an energy efficient variable speed pump. This system should be filled from the lowest point of the heating system to force the air to the highest point where it can be vented. To deaerate the system, enter the manual control menu to activate the pump. Repeat the procedure to turn off the pump. Only when the system is fully vented can one commission the boiler. Always ensure that fittings are tight and sealed when filling the boiler. Remove any red caps and blank with plugs if not used. It is important that there is sufficient heat leak on the system to absorb any latent heat from the boiler and to prevent fuses tripping off the boiler overheat thermostat. This is something first time installers of biomass boilers often overlook. The boiler can still generate smouldering heat within the combustion chamber even after the unit is powered off. It is recommended back end protection is used to prevent low temperature water from entering the boiler. Fluing of the boiler is an important consideration and must comply with Part J of the UK building regulations. In summary, for internal boilers, the flue must terminate one metre above the roof eaves. The boiler must be able to run satisfactorily and must achieve a draft of 20 pascals. Sometimes an anti-down draft coil or spinning coil may be required. When commissioning, we will show you the importance of draft and how the vacuum regulator assists this. The flue pipe must not include any horizontal pipe runs and it is advisable not to exceed 8 metres of vertical pipe. Prestige biomass boilers have a 100mm diameter transition pipe from the exhaust fan to the flue adapter. Prestige models have been tested and approved with 5 inch 125mm twin wall stainless steel insulated flue so you will need an 8100 adapter. It is important that there is no other 90 degree bends used on the flue system apart from the 90 degree elbow at the rear of the 25 kilowatt boiler. A cleaning hatch, a way of removing a piece of flue to enable annual cleaning of the flue needs to be provided at any 90 degree bend. A full range of straight 
offset, elbow and T elements are available from Woodco. For boilers located indoors, external ventilation by way of louvered doors or vents must be provided. Once the installer has primary plumbing connections completed and the boiler is ready for commissioning, a pre-commissioning registration form must be completed and returned to Woodco. We will check that the installation process has been completed to standard and we will issue an unlock code to the commissioning engineer. Once the boiler has been commissioned, a 30 minute handover to the homeowner must be done and the homeowner will sign to confirm they have received and understood the instructions on how to operate their boiler.